Astartes, Brethren Eldar, and of course, all you vile greenskins, welcome back to the Astronomicon. Hear this dirge and despair! So let's talk news, news, and more news. Uh, so recently, MMORPG went over to the offices at Behaviour to record some footage um, of both pre-alpha gameplay and some interviews with both Miguel Caron and Michael Chan. I will leave links to the videos in the description below so you can go view them for yourselves at any time. So the first thing I want to start off with is the pre-alpha footage. Now, as most people already know, Eternal Crusade is heavily inspired by the Space Marine game. It's very similar in its appearance, in terms of its apparent combat mechanics, and it just looks like Space Marine. And I myself have no problem with this, as you already know. I think I really like the way it's starting to look, and it looks fantastic even this early on without an ounce of polish on it. I love the way the jump packs are starting to look for the assault classes. Um, I really enjoyed the kill animations and I'm really looking forward to next year when we get to see a bit more polish on those kill animations to see how really good they can look. One thing from the footage that does concern me is the camera angle. Now it is very, very almost identical to the camera angle that Space Marine used. Now we already know that it is going to be a third person shooter. but what concerns me is as a player who's going to be using a lot of melee weapons and pretty much focusing on melee combat in general is that one of the most frustrating things about the space marine game was the melee combat in relation to the camera angles you just simply had a lack of vision around you when you were swinging your weapon and once you were committed to swinging especially with heavier items such as the thunder hammer once you were committed, you weren't able to see a thing. In Space Marine, if you were using melee combat, it was difficult enough to look around at the best of times with any ease or kind of swiftness. I really do like the third person aspect of the game and I'm not taking any, anything away from that. I'm just concerned that with that, keeping that, kind, that close to the shoulder, I'm concerned about the, the field of view for melee fighters. I think my suggestion would be to pull that camera out a bit just to give you a bit more field of view. You know, this is an MMO. There's going to be hundreds of players running around a battlefield at one point or another. And I, I as a melee person, would like to be able to see what is going on around me so that I can quickly act if someone is coming at me from the side. I'm not saying that I want to be able to see right behind me because I know that's not technically re very realistic. But at the same time, I would like to be able to see a little bit more than you can currently see. Actually, if I'm, for example, as an if I was an Eldar striking Scorpion, if they're in the game, um, and I'm attacking a Space Marine head on with my melee weapon, and I want to be able to see just to the side of me, so that if if an assault marine is coming towards me from the side, I want to be able to quick to be able to see that and be able to act quickly enough to give myself a solid defense. That being said, I think the game is coming along fantastically. I'm so impressed with the work that the guys are doing. Um, I think I can't wait to see more. I can't wait to see them trying to explore once they've got the combat really nailed down to a point where they're happy to move on. The next thing I would really like to see is a big open battlefield, open spaces, less of the closed walls and more open space. Now, the next thing I wanted to talk about was the interviews and specifically the interview with Michael Chan where he was talking about progression. Prior to that interview, we already know things like there were going to be progression trees, there's going to be, going to be accessories for your armour, there's going to be loadouts. We already know this information. What interested me, however, is when he was talking about the weapon upgrade system. Michael mentioned, when talking about the weapon upgrade system, one of the ways you'll get new gear for your weapons is through reward boxes, which will be, wait for it, random. Now hold on brothers and sisters of battle, just take a breath for one minute. I know what you're thinking, and I thought the exact same thing, but what they're not saying, what he didn't say, and let's not put words in his mouth because I have seen some talk on the forums basically saying that, oh the game's going to be, have like Star Wars Young Republic cartel packs where you buy them. He didn't say anything about the monetized content. What he's talking about is loot drops from things like um, taking PvP points, PvE, things like that, which I have no problem with. It Random loot, you get random loot, that's not a problem to me. What I would have a problem is, is that, is if 
it was going to be a case of um, they're going to put stuff on the in-game store and it was going to be random boxes, then I would have a problem with it because I would prefer if I'm going to buy something off, for example, let's talk about consumables specifically on this part. Um, if I was going to buy a consumable, I don't want to buy a random pack where I would get, maybe I get the thing I wanted. What I want to be able to do in that in-game store is look through a catalogue and select what I want to buy. Um, I don't mind loot in the world being random because most games have random loot and it's quite, it's kind of I like random loot a little bit it's kind of fun um, but I don't like things especially on the in-game store that are random for example one of my pet hates of Star Wars The Old Republic is the cartel packs where you buy a pack and you may get what you want you may not you may just waste your money on a load of consumables that is utterly pointless um, and I really hope they do stay clear of that it's definitely not what he said, and I, I want to make that clear to people because I think there was a little bit of confusion on the forums, some people thinking that that is what he said, but it wasn't. He was specifically talking about drops from attaining quest, well, not attaining quest, but attaining objectives. We's the silliest! And now for this week's community segment, I'm going to talk about the game engine. Now, this particular thread was started some time ago back in October um, by a member called Viewit and they were talking about all the different engines that Eternal Crusade may possibly use. Now recently, please ban me, another member of the forums actually got kind of an idea of what the game engine was from the pre-alpha footage and he questioned Miguel over it over Twitter which I followed very closely and it appears that it could well be pretty much confirmed but it isn't officially confirmed but it's pretty much a good bet um you wouldn't get very good odds on against it um that it it will be the unity engine now what i wanted to ask you guys as the community is what are your thoughts on unity um and the game being run on unity um I'll leave a link in the description below to what Unity is if you don't know about the game engine and have a read up. Let me know what you guys think about Eternal Crusade being run on Unity. I myself am reserving judgment for the time being. I would like to see a little bit more of how the game progresses in development before I make my judgment on Unity. I don't think that there's many games that I can really judge against Unity for a in terms of as a comparison against Eternal Crusade, you know what what can I what game on Unity is like Eternal Crusade? Um, it's very hard. There isn't really one. So let me know what you guys think about Unity as a game engine and in relation to Eternal Crusade. Thank you so much for watching. Do like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and I will see you next time. You interrupt.